And this is film speak, right? Yeah, this is film speak. The man of God has seen. Welcome to a special edition of Film Speak, where we dwell into the world of groundbreaking film. I want them to take a shot of you. <laughs> Here, we are shining a spotlight on an extraordinary puppet film that is taking the globe by storm. So basically what I do is uh, just use puppets to pass whatever messages I want to pass across. We need to take her to a doctor. This is Kuhu. This is the character Kuhu. Kuhu comes from the name Kuhu. Uh, that is a lawyer name for grandma. And this is Babu. Yeah, these are the two characters that drive that particular project. It actually started as a, as a, as a project to address COVID-19 COVID related, uh, related concerns. And when COVID-19 was done, I had to move now from that to now mental health. Because first, I'm very passionate about mental health related issues, number one. And uh, number two, I didn't want these... Um, this idea of Kuhu and Babu to just die because there's no, we don't have, we no longer have COVID-19. Doing an adult show using puppets is one very big challenge first. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to do, uh, I decided to address this very serious challenge using puppets, it was a way of now breaking that mental health related issue into a way that people can be able to like understand, have fun with, and also do away with the seriousness that comes with mental health. I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling now so to put it to a level where now everybody can be able to understand it and now discuss it. You know, you can imagine discussing a very serious issue using puppets that are seen not to be as serious. That way you're able to bring a very serious issue and uh, you're able now to discuss it at the family level. So the setups have to be very, very family-like. Because if you're addressing a, I mean, a family issue and then you come up with setups that are very, very complex, then you confuse, you confuse your audience. Nominated for prestigious awards across Africa, India and the United States, the film isn't just a visual feast. It's a profound exploration of mental health brought to life through the magic of puppetry. And each and every issue comes from a real life experience. Let's take an example of PTSD. That was after what happened at Moy Girls, you know. And uh, I felt like I needed to talk about PTSD, which was likely to happen after these kids go back to school after the fire. How was it likely, I mean, what was likely to happen? And how was it likely to be perceived at the family level? First dog, Michael Natahi. Uh, and... Uh... Instagram, Instagram, Nutahi <laughs> Tatetia. Yes, that is good. Thank you. 